Well, we are learning more tonight about what led to two federal air marshals being removed from a flight to the Twin Cities. CARE 11's Danny Spiewak has been following that story. The reason we declared an emergency for suspicious reasons is because the air marshal actually showed our flight and it his gun. That's what Flight 3531 relayed to the tower after landing in Minneapolis around midnight, according to a stream recorded by the website Live ATC. The crew reported that an air marshal on the flight from Newark asked a flight attendant for a passenger list known as a manifest. The story goes down that uh, he walked up to her, said he needed to see the manifest, demanded it. he was trying to find a passenger, and showed her, showed her his gun, and uh, she just found that super suspicious. Metropolitan Airports Commission spokesman Patrick Hogan confirms that airport police and the FBI escorted two marshals for questioning after the plane landed. The flight was operated by Republic as a partner of United. The airlines said they are aware of this incident and are working with investigators. Air marshals are federal law enforcement officers who ride on commercial flights to guard against terrorism. Yeah, this is a whole uh, mess here. From what I understand, I don't know why he didn't show her her badge, his badge. The TSA, which oversees air marshals, said the marshals were on official business and mistaken for a passenger by a flight attendant. Protocols for notification of law enforcement presence aboard an aircraft are in place to avoid incidents like this. TSA is working with the airline to determine the specific circumstances in this case. The FBI also looked into this situation after the flight crew reported it, and an FBI spokesperson told us they determined this was simply a misunderstanding, in their words, between the flight crew and an air marshal on that flight from Newark to Minneapolis last night. Julie, back to you. All right. Glad that's all it was. Thank you, Danny.